Palace. Yeah. Okay, I'm on my way to Air America. No, I gotta go. Love you. Love you. Bye. Moroccan vegan chicken sandwich. Taser, do you? I, I do. I have a taser. Yes, if I had a taser. I Hold on, John Kerry, Senator. We'll get right back to you. Um, Dave actually is reading a statement that John Kerry had had put out about this whole incident, which was a very academic, intellectual statement. I, I mean, I repeat, Senator Kerry, and we want to actually get you on the show, the older version of you, uh, when you can uh, make that. Well, Why I could have handled the situation the without interruption, and go but down and help I don't know what kid. warnings or other. Ex Exchanges transpired between the young man and the police prior to this bargaining to the front line and their intervention. I asked the police to allow me to answer the question. You know what? You know what, Senator Kerry? I am sick of you. I'm, I'm disgusted by you. I want you to stop talking on my radio show. That's my opinion. Well, the truth is, this kid wanted you to be president. He thought you were elected president. In fact, you were elected president, and you didn't even come to the aid of this kid. Okay, I'm, 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 I'm sick of you, John Kerry, or anybody who's imitating you right now. I'm not sick of the hero of the moment, Greg Palace, a big hand. <laughs> yes. Greg Palace, man of the hour, he takes a kid sacrificing for you, getting tased, having his shirt ripped open, and getting tased because... He had armed madhouse to get you some publicity. Man. Andrew, Andrew, well, you know how much it, you know, BBC, my producer at BBC, asked me how much it cost to get those weird cops, those fake cops there, <laughs> especially the, the guy that was that was zapping poor Andrew and grinning the entire time. And, and, and uh, by the way, um, I should mention that, uh, uh, that I, by the way, Andrew, if you hear me, call me. Okay, this is Greg Palace. Are, 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 are you a lawyer? <laughs> <laughs> You're also a lawyer. No, no, I, the first thing I did, my advice to anyone doing this again is wear a grounding wire. <laughs> okay, the uh, the other thing is um, uh, the uh, no, I, I hand it to Andrew because he was holding on to my book, Armed Madhouse, even when he was getting multiple zaps in excess of 50,000 volts a shot. Look up their site. 50,000 volts a shot, and he wouldn't let go of it. Finally, they cuffed him. <laughs> Hold on, stop, stop. Hold on. Out of this whole incident, with all of the issues that we could explore, your issue, the first issue that you hear on Clout, here in the Air America studios that you want to talk about, is how proud you are that this kid didn't drop your book when he's getting almost electrocuted. Great. Well, as you know, that, 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 uh, that there's a rule that no one has ever supposed to let copies of our madhouse touch the floor, right? We are in the high uh, holy yeah, they, days. They, they, we are in the days of awe of the Jewish so, so anyway, so he, he, so he, But it finally, when they cuffed him, and hit the floor, and a cop picked it up. And while he's cuffed and, and you know, been zapped and worked, worked upon, uh, he's trying to tell a cop later why he should be reading the book. And the cop's going through the book with him. No, <laughs> are you I serious? Kid, I kid you not. So, Andrew, <laughs> you're a champ. You're a champ, and uh, let's get together and tell the truth on him. But actually, yeah, you're right. It's, it's not about uh, the book hitting the floor. or uh, it's, and, it's and it's really not even about, uh, about um, uh, 
this uh, pseudo fascist dictatorship because let me uh, and, and and the weaponry that the, the new weaponry that they're using to um, uh, to express <laughs> uh, the new amendment it's a taser amendment to the uh, Bill of Rights it's part what it's the first and a half amendment <laughs> if you say ask the wrong question and but um, what you should know. What's very, very important to know is this wasn't just anywhere. It's very important to know that this kid was electrified in Alachua County. Gainesville is in Alachua County. And I'll have you know that Alachua County, of the 5,000 counties in uh, the United States... By the way, it seems like everything that is newsworthy goes down in Florida, one yeah. way or another. It's unbelievable. Well, there's good reason. In Alachua County in particular, I've in, obviously, in our madhouse and elsewhere, I've investigated for years from BBC the theft of, the, uh, of elections. Alachua stands out out of 5,000 counties in the United States is just about the worst I could name in terms of wiping out black voters. And the reason you saw this is that there was a, a fancy white guy named Kerry standing up there and a, a white, you know, middle class student. What you're seeing is an event that is common to Alachua County all the time. So just except that it was poor black of voters. speech, the suppression right. and of suppression of the right of to the vote. vote. It was in in back in uh, 2001, in February 2001. I wrote a story for Nation magazine called "Florida's Disappearing Voters." It's it's in my uh, last book, "The Best Democracy Money Can Buy." By the way, I'm doing this heavy plugging because until Patriot Act three, you are allowed to read the books that have been recommended by by Andrew. Um, <laughs> The, the most electrifying books. <laughs> it's it's going to be okay. the new. No, I, I, like the gonna, book I should be laughing because guys, guys, God, sad, and I'm making all of these electricity uh, jokes. Um, but I hope that those tasers. Well, why are global warming? But the other thing is, is that in Alachua County, I wrote a piece called "Florida's Disappearing Voters from Nation." Uh, what what Alachua County was doing and leading Florida at the specific direction of Jeb Bush's office, not Catherine Harris, Jeb Bush. You know, believe it or not, Harris was about to resist Bush. Jeb Bush ordered, um, ordered uh, the Alachua County supervisor to remove the names of voters who had been convicted of some crime in another state, and now they moved to Florida. There's thousands. You know, in fact, about one out of five black men in America have some type of conviction on their record. So that wipes out these black voters. They can't do that in Florida. They can't do that. They're not allowed to do that. Okay, it's against federal law. The judges told them they can't do it, and Jeb did it anyway. See, and then, and I was yeah, going to well, write I'll, this by the way. Let's 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 yeah. We're very excited. It's a big day for Greg Palace. We're talking. Oh, it's in a big day for America. Okay, it's, it's, a, it's the new word moving to the new electric avenue, of America. <laughs> We're talking. Let me intro you. Okay? Intro me. Okay. You know, I mean, you had your show last week. I, I, you're going to be on every single week. I want to give you as much time as you need. I just want people to know that this is a really amazing issue. And our own Greg Pallast, who you've just been listening to for the last few minutes, and we're going to have you on. Can you stay for the whole show? <laughs> He's asking. No, no, I'm asking How you. Can you stay for the whole show? I want you to stay. <laughs> I'm, I'm laughing because this is this is how Richard does it. See, he, he takes you out to a movie and a dinner and warms you up a little foreplay and says, "How about the how about the whole show, baby?" Greg, uh, yeah, okay, Greg, okay, fine. Okay, I'll yes. dump you. Right. What? No, no, this no, last yes, minute of yes, Greg. Yes, yeah, okay, Greg, okay, fine. I'll yes. dump you. Right. What? No, no, this no, last yes, minute of yes, Greg. Yes.